Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. We are on a Mayo Trilogy with thanks to our friends at happytoughconversions.ie. We are now in Balik Caravan and Camping Park in Ballina in Mayo and we are about to head to Westport House. Um, it's about an hour from here so we're going to take our time. I need to stop off and get a, a few provisions on the way. Mutley is all strapped in and ready to roll. It is early in the morning. It's actually only five past nine in the morning. So we're going to take our time. Westport House is our next next destination. They do not allow dogs during July and August. So you would have heard me say in the last video, that's why we've never been there. And we've wanted to go there for a long, long time. So that's where we're heading now. Westport House in Westport in County Mayo. A little bit of road footage. You can skip the road footage just here and you'll see us coming in the gates of Westport House. So he's strapped in, I'm strapped in and we're ready to roll. Okay guys, we made it to Westport House Caravan and Camping Park. First impressions, sorry I didn't come here years ago. Now, Westport House is, the Caravan and Camping Park is on the grounds of Westport House. There is a courtyard that has an outdoor cinema. There is a pirate's theme park, which I haven't seen yet. We have literally excused the towel, but the ground is wet and he's manky. And I only brought one pair of jeans with me. We haven't taken a walk around yet. We're on pitch 43. Electric is there. I haven't even looked for water. Our water is just there. It's a one-way system. 
toilet block in the middle. I'm going to say 50, 53, 54 hard stands, pretty level. I'm only halfway up ours and as you can see there's a bit of hard stand behind us again so it will take long wagons and possibly a car in front of you towing a big caravan. Um, there are tents here as well I'll find out more about that. It's a little bit pricey when it comes to two adults and two children. I give you the prices after we take a walk around. Um, I mentioned at the offset or I might have mentioned it in the last video. The reason we haven't been here is because we used to use the Camping Ireland book all the time and the picture of the dog is crossed out and it says nothing in the book about it being July and August only. You have to log on to the website to say that and I'm delighted that it is only July and August. And the reason for that is between the theme park, the house itself and the campsite, it's pretty busy and they've had one or two little episodes with dogs. So during peak season, no dogs allowed on site, no matter who you are. Anyway, we are going to get a bit of grub and then it's a beautiful day. So then I'm going to put a lead and harness onto this guy and we're going to go for a walk around the grounds. I'll bring a camera with me and I'll show you Westport Caravan and Camping, Westport House Caravan and Camping Park. It's a beautiful day. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Okay, so Westport House Caravan and Camping Park. This is where we are parked. Uh, I'll turn the camera. You'll hear the clicks from me trying to turn the camera. <laughs> I hate this new camera. I love the camera. I just hate the microphone on it and I hate the actions on it. That's supposed to turn like that. Okay, so we're on pitch 43. There's the toilet block. There are tents here, there's caravans here. And they are a fine size pitch. I mean, look, I stand right back here. Our pitch actually starts there and goes up behind the bebo and that little piece there to the left of it as well the grounds are lovely maintained as i say it's a semicircle or it's a circular campsite so um let's go for a walk <laughs> toilets showers little wash hand basin outside campers kitchen I did notice that the taps on site aren't suitable for hose connections. Dishwashing area. I'll show you one of them just here. Look at the length of that pitch. That's pitch 56. So you see these taps, they're not suitable for any of our hoses. But still, there are plenty of them. I'd say there's 10 or 12 of them on site. They seem to be new pitches, 55A and B. Seems to be a new area they have just put in because it's new tar. Right, let's go walk. Recycling area over there. Grey water area over there. Right, that's pitch 67, that's pitch 73, so I was well off with my 50 pitches. So let's go with 75 pitches. bell tent area there's a tent area the old farmyard is where we're actually going to be going now there's the map of the campsite it has 74 pitches on it but as I said there's new pitches being added so when you pull up at the front gate this is campers reception you go through here and reception is over there and there's a big screen here on the wall, so they must have movie nights here. And this is the courtyard. Let's take a walk through the courtyard. So we've made our way through the courtyard and there is a pizzeria here. Um, this flipping camera. 
<laughs> it's supposed to turn when I do this. It's not going to turn. Oh, it's driving me mad. There we go. Anyway, there's Grace's Pizzeria. Uh, Pirates Cove, you go in there to register for your tickets. There is a little stall here. There is a train waiting to take these people. Oh, ticketing is over there, actually. And there is a train waiting to take these people through Pirates Cove. See it there? It's parked in the train station at the moment. We have been given permission to get the drone up. So when I get back to the B-Bar, I get the drone up. So we've made our way out of the courtyard. We're back on site, heading back to the B-Bar. We actually have to go downtown and get some supplies because I didn't get any while we were driving around. Um, Westport is a beautiful town. It was very, very busy. Uh, it's a whole one-way system, but it was very busy. But uh, we're going to head down to a local garage and just top up our supplies. See, there's one of those. There's loads of these water points, but they're just not the ones that take any of our hose connections, which is okay with the B-Bar because uh, it's only 12 litres and I can bring the can out and fill it with water. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to head downtown, get some supplies. We're going to come back and we're going to get the drone up over Westport Caravan and Camping Park. We have just gone for a walk around the grounds down towards Westport House. I have actually got a, a ticket to go in and see Westport House. It was a complimentary ticket given to me, but uh, I might do it. Uh, if not later on today, I'll do it tomorrow. It is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful campsite. Westport House Caravan and Camping Park, according to the 2022 Camping Ireland book and according to their website, a unit and two adults is 26 to 39 euro a night now when we booked here it was 35 euro for a pitch with electric hookup electricity is six euro a unit two adults and two children 34 to 47 euro plus electricity showers are free Extra person, six euro. Extra child, four euro. Extra car, six euro. Awning, six euro. And extra large tents, 21.50. 12.50 to 20 euro. They take tents, they take caravans, they take motorhomes. The toilets are spotless. The camper's kitchen is spotless. Um, it's, you can drive out the key. We came in one entrance that you saw on the road footage. You can drive out another entrance at certain hours and it brings you into town. Westport is brilliant. You've seen, uh, oh, I didn't show you. I did a, an Instagram of us on Westport down at Westport Harbour. Oh my God, it's beautiful, green area, lots of parking. You cannot park overnight, but you can pay it 60 cent for an hour. You can park your motorhomes uh, up to 10 o'clock at night. And then I think from 22 to 6 a.m., there's no overnight parking. There are plenty of campsites in Mayo, but this one, Westport House Caravan and Camping Park. I have wanted to come here for years. I wanted to come here and see Brian Adams, but it says on the book, the little dog is crossed out, and it says nothing in the book about it being seasonal, but it does say it on their website. It's a beautiful park. The pitches are pretty level. There's power everywhere. There's plenty of taps. There's a good sized bay to reverse your van in to empty your grey water. The chemical toilet is over there on the toilet block. There's a pizzeria. I didn't get the opening hours. I don't know if it's seasonal, but we walked down through it. It's down by reception. Um, it's a great location. There's a golf course just here. It's fabulous for walking. There's the Greenway cycle just outside here on the road. But is it worth 35 euro for me and Charlie with electric hookup? I have said before between the podcasts, 
Yeah, 35 euro. I have said before between the podcasts and on Charlie and me, when sites went up to 30 euro, there are very few sites in Ireland worth 30 euro. I think, and this is just my personal opinion, the only thing going against Westport House Caravan and Camping Park is the price. But it's a lovely campsite. The weather is beautiful. We are looking forward to throwing a blanket out on that ground and sitting out for a while, then getting a bit of grub. Well, you've just had grub, haven't you? You've just had something to eat. Don't eat the wasp. That is it. This is part two of the Mayo Trilogy with thanks to our friends at happyturfconversions.ie. I will tell you all about Happy Tough Conversions in the next video as I did in the first video. Thank you for joining us. You don't have to subscribe, but if you would like to, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget the podcasts with myself and Chris every Wednesday. Wherever you listen to your podcasts, just search for The Camping Crew Podcast. From Charlie, from me, Aaron, stay safe. And remember, if you see us on site, please do call over and say hi. We are going to, I can't remember where we're going tomorrow, but we're going to another place tomorrow, but it's just in air, and I'll tell you about it at the beginning of the next video. Take care. Is it Claire Morris? That doesn't sound right. Does that sound right to you? Claire Morris. Bye-bye.